one of my videos if you're a current subscriber if not then welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys the diet I've set out for my two Russian dwarf hybrids so I've had them for about 11 months now and one of my hamsters has just woken up so I'm gonna go and grab her so here I just have cupcake with me I'm not too sure how well you will be able to see her my Russian dwarfs are actually sisters I brought them together I think there was about six of them cupcake was the only yellowy gold anyone and I've always wanted a hamster this colour. I did intend to get two hamsters, I wanted a pair of dwarfs. Um, so they lived happily together for a couple of months and then Cashmere started attacking cupcakes so I've just had them separate ever since. They're both really 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 sweet hamsters, especially cupcake because cupcake would literally just sit there and let you stroke her. At the moment she's um, licking my hand which is something she does quite a lot. Um, Cupcake is actually a very rare colour. You can only get this colour from a hybrid. You won't um, find a hamster this colour from a pure uh, winter white hamster. I've had some people in the past tell me that Cupcake is a Syrian hamster. No, she's she's definitely not a Syrian hamster. She's 100% a dwarf hamster. So now that I've told you guys a little bit about my hamsters, I'm going to show you what I actually feed them. So the diets I've put together for my dwarfs is pretty simple. I know on YouTube um, there are quite a few different diets and they seem very complicated because there's all these different things and for each day of the week they get different things but for my dwarfs it's honestly pretty simple. I feed my dwarfs every second day so I don't give them food every single day it's every second day. So in these two jars with the pink lids I keep their main food mix so this sort of makes up most of their diet. So in this jar I I have the JR Farm Dwarf Hamster Mix. In this mix you get a really nice selection of different seeds and different grains. So you've got some millet in there, you have a few peanuts, not too many, you have a little bit of corn. A lot of people think it's bad to give dwarf hamsters corn. They can have corn, they actually need it in their diet but not too much. And you also have a couple of these biscuits as well, they're just heart shaped and you get these little brown circle bits as well. And you also get a bit of cheese, beef and shrimp for protein. So here's a little piece of shrimp there. I've been using this food ever since I got my dwarfs and they absolutely love it. If you have a Syrian hamster or if you've had a Syrian hamster in the past then you would know that the dwarf mix has a bunch of smaller pieces compared to that of a Syrian hamster's diet. This is because dwarf hamsters are a lot smaller so they have smaller pouches so they're gonna have to put smaller pieces of food in their pouches to carry back to their nest. So my hamsters pretty much eat the same thing but they just have different ways of eating. Cashmere is more likely to just leave her food in her bowl and go to her bowl when she's ready to eat. But with Cupcake, as soon as I put the food in her cage, she pouches everything. Well, she pouches all of her favourites and then she'll come back and eat the bits that she doesn't like so much. So in this next jar, I have the Science Selective Pellets. I used to feed this to my Syrian, um, but I also feed it to my dwarfs as well. So I like to mix in a few of these pellets with the JR Farm dwarf hamster mix. Um, this is just great especially if you have picky hamsters because they have everything your hamster needs but it's just in these little nuggets instead of having all of these different grains and stuff so this is perfect for a fussy hamster. Um, to be honest with you my dwarfs are not too fussy and because I top up their food dish every two days it actually allows them to finish everything in their dish before they get more food. A lot of people have said to me that I don't feed my hamsters enough. Honestly, hamsters don't eat that much in one day. A lot of people just tend to fill up the food dish, but sometimes when you do that, the hamster will uh, start selective eating, which is basically where they will just pick out all of their favourite foods and they know you're just going to top it up again with all their favourites so they don't have to eat the things they don't like and then that would mean they don't get a balanced diet. So this is just cupcakes bowl that she currently has in her cage. So I like to measure the food I give my hamster. At the moment I'm just using these metal measuring spoons. I had plastic ones before um, but these metal ones just look so much nicer and they're just hooped together at the top. So when I feed them I normally use this scoop which is equivalent to a tablespoon. So starting off with this mix I just sort of mix it around a bit so I can get a bit of everything. 
take a spoon of that and just pour that into the food dish. So as you can see, there's a really nice variety and the pieces are nice and small. And then I just like to add three to four pieces of the Science Selective Pellet. This is just the basic food they get every two days. So I'm now going to show you the add-ons. So the add-ons are just things that I occasionally add into the food mix to spice it up a little so they've got a little treat in there. So the first add-on I like to give to them is just linseeds. These are just golden linseeds. They're also called flax seeds and you can find this in your local supermarket these are very beneficial to your hamsters like skin and coat if you want your hamsters to have a nice silky shiny coat then i recommend you feed these you can give them a pinch every day or every second day but sometimes some hamster foods actually contain flax seeds already so you don't want to give your hamster too much so because my hamsters actually have some flax seeds in their uh, food mix already i don't give them flax seeds that often um, but I'm going to give them some today as a little treat. So what I do is I just use this teeny tiny spoon and sprinkle some in there. Another thing that's great to give to your hamster is forage or dried flowers. So right here I just have these dried flowers which are from Pets at Home. I can't remember which one this is. There's one with like roses I think and this one ugh, I can't remember what it's called um, but they're really really cheap. I thought this would be great to give to my hamsters but they actually don't really eat it. Um, it's literally just dried flowers. I won't be repurchasing this again because they honestly don't like it too much. However, you can give this a go with your hamsters because they might actually like it. So next I have the free treats that I like to feed my hamsters. So over here I have some sunflower seeds which are a hamster's favourite. Um, my dwarfs don't actually have any sunflower seeds in their food mix. I know some dwarf mixes do but luckily mine don't. Hamsters love love sunflower seeds but they are quite fatty so this isn't something you should give to them often but as an occasional treat maybe once or twice a week or maybe once every second week I'll give them a sunflower seed. Over here I have some dried apple. I have these on my website. I'll have it linked in the description and on my website they're called apple bites. My hamsters really really love these. It's just tiny pieces of dried apple. It's a perfect size for a dwarf because it's really small but of course you can also give them to cereal as well and then here I just have um, some of the vet IQ treats I can't remember if these are the odor care or the nutri care um, the odor care ones is supposed to help with like uh, odors and stuff and the nutri care one is supposed to help with your hamster's skin and fur to sort of make it healthy and stuff I like both of them I can't remember which one is actually in the jar um, because they are quite big and they are quite sweet I don't give them to my dwarf that often they might get about one a month um, if I remember to give them one but they really really like it inside there's a bit of apple so sometimes I just break it in half and put pieces around the cage so they can go around and find it so another thing I like to actually give my hamsters is fruit and veg and cooked plain chicken um, I don't have a set schedule for this it's kind of whenever I have something to give them but it's usually at least once or twice a week either a bit of chicken or they'll get some fruit or veg it's normally veg um, that is a little bit better than giving them fresh fruit because fruit has a lot of natural sugars in it so that is pretty much my hamster's diet like i said it's really simple it's nothing too complicated and in the description i will list all the things i've mentioned in this video and i'll also have a link to the two foods that I feed them because I know a lot of you guys will want to know where I get them from. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. You can also leave some suggestions of hamster videos if you guys would like to. Don't forget to check out my website as well. That will be linked in the description also. So bye for now guys and I'll see you in my next video. It happens all the time, yeah, you would know what it is when. So lay the down easy now, same man for your eyes.